Hey, welcome back everybody. In today's topic, I'm going to explain a few useful string functions you might be interested in. Let's begin with creating a username. Assign this your first and last name. The first function I'll discuss is the string to lower function. I'm going to reassign our username and use the string to lower function. Then we will pass in our username as an argument. Then let's echo our username after we make it lowercase. Echo, username. There, my username is all lowercase. Alternatively, there's string to upper. String to upper. My name is all uppercase. Then we have trim. Trim will remove any white spaces before or after your string. There, there's the string pad function. We can pad a string up to a certain amount of characters with the character we specify. Let's say I would like to pad my username to a max size of 20 characters with zeros. Here's my new username. Or maybe we could use forward slashes or something. Then we have string replace. String replace. Within our string, we can replace one character with another. You know what, let's create a new variable. How about a phone number? Let's say phone. Phone equals, make up some phone number. 123-456-7890. Here are the order of arguments. What would we like to replace? Let's replace any dashes. That'll be the first argument. The second argument is what we're replacing the dashes with. Let's use an empty string. Then third is our string, or variable containing a string. We are reassigning our phone number. Here's a new phone number with all the dashes removed. Or we could replace them with something else, like a forward slash. That is the string replace function. Then we have string reverse. S-T-R-R-E-V. Let's reverse our username. Then echo our new username. There it is. It's all backwards. Then we have string shuffle. We can shuffle a string. Kdo bor. String compare. S T R C M P. We can compare a string or a variable against another string or variable. We'll assign this to a new variable. Let's say equals. So if these two strings are the same, then this function will return zero. If they're different, we'll either return 1 or negative 1. Think of it as if these two strings are the same, string compare returns 0. It returns false. So that's how to see if two strings are equal. Then we have the string length function. String length. Let's create a new variable count. How many characters are within our string? In my string, we have 8 characters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's do that with our phone number. Our phone number has 12 characters. That is the string length function. We can use the string position function to find the position of a character. With my username, let's find the first position of a space. The character or string you're looking for is the second argument. I'll create a new variable, index. So the index of the first space within my username is 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. Let's do that with our phone number. Then let's find the position of the first dash, which would be 3 as well. 0, 1, 2, 3. Then we have the substring function. Substring. We can create a new string from a portion of another string. With my username, I'll take the first three characters and create a new string. I'll create a variable named first name. Here are the order of arguments. Take your original string, let's say our username. The second argument is the starting index. I would like to start at the beginning, the index will be zero. Then an ending index. I would like to end at this space in my name. But if you're using your own first and last name, you're going to have a different position. 
So for me, I'd like to end at the third index. Then I will echo my first name. We have created a new string from an original string, but we have to specify the beginning and ending index. This time, let's take the last four characters. I'll create a new variable, last name. We'll use the substring function again. Username. Now you can list a beginning index and then don't specify an ending index. Then you'll create a new string all the way up to the end. If I set my index to be four, we'll create a new substring with everything after the index of four, no matter how long the string is. So let's echo our last name. And there is my last name in my example. So to get everything after the beginning index, just don't list a third argument. Okay, now we have the implode and explode functions. With your username, add your middle name, or maiden name, or whatever. Or a nickname, doesn't matter. Just something. We can use the explode function to assign each of these portions of our name into an array. Let's create an array named full name. We will use the explode function. We are exploding our username. However, at which character or characters do we separate each element in our array? We'll do so by any spaces in this example. So that will be the first argument. Explode our username. Let's see if this is actually an array. Let's echo our full name. Warning, array to string conversion. So that's a good sign. That means that our full name is an array. You know what? Let's use a for each loop to demonstrate. For each take our array full name as name. Then I will echo each name. There, here's my array. And I've taken each portion of our name and placed them as elements within a new array. Now we have implode, which takes an array and creates a string out of them, a single string. Let's say our username is an array. So type your full name. Then we will use the implode function. Username equals implode. What are we imploding? Let's implode our username. Then you can add characters between each element. I will add an empty space between each element when we implode it. Then let's echo our username. Echo username. My array is all one long string now. Or maybe I can separate each element with a dash. It's still one string. All right, everybody. So those are a few useful string methods I think you might be interested in in PHP.